What's going on guys, it's your boy Rob Lee here back with yet another video and in this video I'm going to show all of you new school rappers, all you guys want to get right in the game how to make a studio for just a little bit over $300 Come back at you after the intro. Of my shit, hey. but all I know, I gotta stay grinding. Yeah, yeah. Stay grinding. Yeah. yeah, everybody. First of all, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you like and comment if you're getting any value from this video. Um, so, yeah, let's get into it. So, I know a lot of you guys probably wondering how to get into the rap game, how to start making good quality music right away. And don't have to spend too much money. Because, you know, equipment can run from a $1,000 just for the mic alone. Just for the mic alone. But, I'm going to show you some, um, some things that you can probably get. And it won't even cost you that much money, man. Like I said, it's going to cost you a little bit at first. It's going to cost you at least a little bit over $300. But these are, it's literally just, it's literally just three different things. Because one of the things already come with a bundle. Literally just three different things that you need to start recording and um, yeah let's get into it so the first thing you guys need and it's actually a combination of things is first what you need is recording equipment as far as your mic and a preamp and headphones but if you go on Amazon there's plenty of bundles that um, some companies they sell everything with it whether it's just the headphones and the mic or the preamp and the mic and so on and so forth so First things first, one of these bundles on Amazon you can get, actually we'll go right to the Amazon thing real quick, but I'm going to show you. Um, this is actually the preamp that I use, so this is the, um, let me see, get the focus right, it's the Personas uh, preamp. Um, so my brother actually, a while ago, he actually bought this and it only cost him $200. It came with a preamp, it came with some headphones, and I actually still use these headphones. They're pretty good, even for mixing and all that good stuff. And it comes with a microphone. Now, I will say, um, probably don't want to uh, use that microphone for too long. I mean, it's not the greatest microphone that comes with the personas, but um, when we head to the computer here, um, as you can see right here, actually, this one, this little uh, bundle here comes with an MXL microphone, which is not the same microphone that I had. <clears throat> um, um, that came with the, that that my brother originally had. So this uh, this Personas Auto Box um, 96 USB 2.0 auto recording looks like it comes with um, two different microphones, like a smaller one and a bigger one. I believe that's a microphone. I'm just gonna say it's a microphone. But now I actually use an MSL uh, microphone. I use the 770 um, microphone, and in the future I will go into um, you know reviews on that microphone and everything. Now, but for now. Um, yeah, I would just uh, start off with this bundle, man. It comes with headphones, a microphone, and a preamp. Great way to get started. Um, great way to get started. The next thing you want to get is a mic stand. And similar to the mic stand I have right here, mic stand is going to cost you about $100. So right there, we're already about, um, we're at the $300 mark, really, because that the whole headphones and the preamp is going to cost you about two. And the mic stand is going to cost you about another $100. Well, it's okay. Like I said, it's going to be a little bit over $300. Well, this mic stand comes with the sound absorber, which does help with sound and everything. So, and I believe, and, and even for cheap, um, I didn't really include this in the price that you can really get it for cheap, is also you do need a pop filter. You really need a good pop filter. What pop filters do, it controls all your P sounds when you're rapping or singing or whatever you're, you're doing in the microphone. It muffs the, the, the P sounds um, coming out of your mouth. So, you know, when we say people and stuff like that there's a lot of like air and stuff that comes out your mouth and it you, you can clearly hear it in the vocals after you record so that's what the pop filters for just want to get the cleanest vocal into the microphone as you possibly can so that's what the pop filters for but they're relatively cheap um you probably find one for like ten dollars or even the mic stand might even come with one so or you can even get a um the package with the preamp and the microphone that it may also come with one, and typically when you buy a microphone, it comes with one anyway. So um, yeah, that's why I wasn't too worried about the pop filters. It's very inexpensive to do. Third thing you're gonna need is acoustics, and you can see around. I'm gonna have also these uh, little foam acoustics on Amazon for 12 of these. I think I got two, so they cost me about um, these. I have them all around the room. I'll, I'll do a tour. It's, as you can see, the two in the back, but they're also 
Um, I got a bunch around the room, basically. <laughs> um, so I, I think I got 24 in total, and that cost me probably about around $40. So right there, let's just say we're at the 350 mark. So just to even get started, you need about 350. You need, and this is not including, you know, you know, whatever um, doll you're going to use. Basically, what a doll is is um, uh, what you're going to record with. But if you're just starting off, you can use something as simple as something like Audacity. And if you, depending on which personas one you buy, um, which which personas um, package you buy, there's one that actually comes with a free doll. It's called Studio One or Studio Recording, something like that. But one of the packages. Which comes with more stuff, and you think you can spend a little bit more money, then you can get one of those that come with more stuff. But one of them does come with a free doll, so I would look into that too. It'll save you a little bit of money. Um, right now, I use Pro Tools. Um, Pro Tools costs like five, six hundred dollars for a new one, and you can get a Pro Tools for cheaper than that. But that'll be in another video. I can tell you about that. Pro Tools and Logic. Are, the two biggest, two best ones in my opinion. But when it comes to just recording, I think that just about any doll does the job. It doesn't really matter about what's going into the doll. It's about the vocals and making sure that the the recording is good. So that's why you need a good mic and you need some good acoustics and you need a good room as well. Um, I'm right here. I, this is like just an extra room in my house that I built into a studio. I actually just used to record in my room now. If you can't come up with fifty dollars, and you need something to help with um, with acoustics, then you, what you could get, you could get um, U-Haul blankets, and a lot of people use U-Haul blankets. What well, U-Haul blankets are these these big blankets that you can, of course, buy them on Amazon, and you just hang them up in your room. And what U-Haul blankets are usually used for, hence the word U-Haul, is that people they would. Um, is that people when they're moving and they have UO trucks, they use these blankets and put them over their furniture. I think they're, um, I believe most of them are flame retarded, so it helps with that and it just keeps them safe while they're driving and stuff like that. Um, but another thing, they're so thick that they actually suppress sound really well. So a lot of people actually do use U-Haul blankets when they're recording music and I used to have it in my old room when I was recording, I had it hanging up right I used to have my computer um, in my in the front of my room, and my door is actually kind of set up like this set up, but the camera's not in that position, so y'all don't know. But anyway, so I have my computer here, and the door would be on my left side, and I would just put the U-Haul blanket over the door and over um, the back of my microphone, because I used to just keep my microphone at my desk, and I would just wrap right into my microphone with my computer right um, into the U-Haul blanket. So it kind of it kind of was like like this setup is like the blanket was behind the mic in a way so you can use that as a little more of a cheaper route if you um, can't cough off the fifty dollars but anyway guys just want to make this quick video I'm going to have a lot more tips videos coming soon about setting up your studio about which plugins you use and which dolls you should use and comparison videos and all kinds of stuff like that so if you're interested and got any value from this video make sure that you click the subscribe button um, make sure you like the video, comment in the, in the description. If you have other advice, put it in the comments, and other people will definitely look into those too. Like, you know, I don't got all the answers. I'm just trying to show what I got and give up what I got. So, other than that, guys, peace out. See you next time.